Hello, this is the life of Ivan coming to you today with a motivational thought I had. My thought is find people who value you. What I mean is some of us right now are being taken for granted. The time we're offering to those close to us isn't being handled properly. Our time our energy, our effort, our love, it's not, it's not being handled properly. It's being taken. We're not being valued. It could be you extending your hand to offer help, either moving, up and doing homework, cooking, a shoulder to cry on, sharing wisdom, being someone who listens or has tons of advice. And then the people will complain about a certain problem in their life. And you have a solution for it. Or you want to work with them. But then they say no. No. Then they turn you away. But they always want to complain to you. Like stop complaining to me. If you, if you don't want me to help you fix the problem. Then shut up. You're not going to value what I say. Then don't ask me anything. Don't talk to me about it. See so your help is being taken for granted. And they don't value it. It could be they don't value your love. They, they don't value the small things you do. How you have food cooked when they get home from work. Or the food that you order for them while they're at work. And have it delivered to their, to their job for them. Whether it could be washing their car, rubbing their feet, dressing up for them, hanging out with them when you could be out with your friends. The small things that, that you do, they don't value it. They don't, they don't appreciate it. And, and, and it and it hurts after a while because you're thinking to yourself, all this I'm doing for you and you don't recognize it. You don't see it. Your eyes aren't open to it. And then the time that, they, that you give them, what do they do? They don't use it. They waste it. Sometimes they just sit there on their cell phone, on their cell phone for minutes upon minutes upon minutes. They don't want to share this. Did you see this? No, I didn't see it. I don't have your eyes. I didn't come over here to look at your cell phone. I came over here to look at you, to talk to you, to be with you, to be around you. Or it could be how they play video games and you're just sitting there. And they're trying to tell you, oh yeah, I did this move and that move. And you're like, I don't care about the video games? For what? We're supposed to have a human interaction here. And then they don't converse with you. They just sit there. There's a million things in this world, a billion or trillion things to talk about on this planet. Well, everything that Trump is doing right now, there's there's always something to talk about. But then you get to the point where you two just become strangers that sit beside each other. They're not valuing your time. Let them go. Put your time towards something that's going to po- that's positive and going to motivate you and do something different for your life. For men, it could be something simple like holding a door. She'll say, oh, no, I can do it myself. I didn't ask if you could do it yourself. I know you got hands. I see them. I just held your hand while we walked through the mall. But I want to be a gentleman to open the door for you. Just hush up, say thank you, and walk through, and let me just watch you walk by. I'm proud that I'm opening the door for you. Or it could be giving a compliment. You know how many times men compliment women they don't say thank you? How much how much nerves it takes to, to walk up to someone or to tell someone, ooh, girl, I like the way you look. I love your eyebrows. I like the color of your nails. I'm paying attention to you. I see the small details you do for yourself. And people don't recognize that. Some women don't understand that. It could be picking up and buying the movie tickets. I know it's expensive, it is. But hey, she could pay for the food at least. It could be you getting a haircut, getting a fresh shape up. You get dressed up and you show up at her house, or you show up around her, and she doesn't see anything. Like she doesn't even notice. But yet when you two walk around, you got all these other women in your face. Cause they can they can appreciate how much you're taking care of yourself for her. Because she's not valuing you. Let her go. If she's not making you happy, if you don't see yourself spending the rest of your life with her, let it go. 
There's too many women out here that would give up six months of junk food to find a man like you. Let her go. Now, ladies, you may have that going on in your life. You go get your toes done, your nails done, your hair done, your eyebrows done. Your eyebrows are flawless. They both look even right now, which sometimes, I, I from what I know, doesn't happen a lot for women. One looks good. The other one looks like it's gone on vacation to the nail shop and your favorite nail tech is sitting right there and she's open. She's waiting. She's ready for you. And, and you decide to get your man's favorite color for, for your nails. And they look good. They're nice and sparkling. They're clean. Might be the French tip with the manicure. But then when you go see him, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't even compliment them. He doesn't notice that his favorite color is on your nails. Oh, no, he's not valuing you. You need something better than that. You, you massage his back. You cook his food. You try to color with him. And you're at least too manly to say, saying no. No, I can't speak for all men. But I think men should like to cuddle. I do. I know that much for sure. But he's not valuing you. They're not valuing you. That's that's not what love is. If you feel like you're in constant competition with, with things that are not real, that's that's no. He's not valuing you. You're a beautiful diamond that's in there being unnoticed. Now, we we got into a, a a day and age where we put more affection and attention in the things that are not real. We we make people jealous by things that are not real: cell phones, video games, TV shows, and clothes. And then we forget that the people that that are around us, that love us, that that connect, try to connect with us, value you. That we value each other. And then sometimes that it gets misplaced. So make it your job to find people who value you. Who will put as much effort into you as you do to them. Otherwise you're always going to lose. Now also find value in people who, who find value in you after you say no. Those are quality people. Because they understand you're not obligated to say yes all the time. You're not obligated to go along, to ride out with them, to agree with what they're doing, that you want to stand away. You want to say, no, I'm not doing it right now. Not tonight. Maybe another day. Maybe I don't like doing that. I don't want to do that. If you're going to do that, hey, holler me when you're done. Talk to me when you're done. Oh, you need some help right now? You want this, that, and the third? I don't have it. I can't do it. I still got love for you. Find people who will value you after that. Find people who value your time, your energy, your effort. That is your job. Because once you start shifting out those people that don't value your time and have a, a group of people around you who value your time, you will feel better as a person. That's your responsibility. So that's just my thought for the day. Once again, this is a life of Ivan. Hopefully it helps you get through some part of your life that you're going through.